Hi hey, brothers and sisters, how are you doing today? Hope you are doing well. My name is Pamela, if you're new, welcome. Today, I am going to actually come back and do a study on 16. I really wasn't planning on doing a video, um, but I really want to get started reading in John. <laughs> I'm actually getting started a little bit late. It's like almost 2 o'clock and my kids have to get up really soon. I just got done. I talked to my mom for like an hour and a half, so I'm behind on schedule on things. So I really should have put this video out earlier, but I apologize. And I know that because I'm doing it on my tablet, because my studies have been like 22 minutes long, it's taking hours to upload. So I don't even think it's uploading until like 9 or 10 o'clock at night. Maybe even, I don't know, like... Maybe 7 to 9, somewhere between 7 and 9 o'clock. So, I, and I'm doing my Bible studies every day, usually like around noon. So, it's probably going to be uploaded late. Anyways, I want to go ahead and read this because I really want to move on. And I felt, I've been feeling so led since I've been in John to get the word out about things. It's just, the Lord is just... And let me just explain to you guys real quick. I have been, I know the Lord's not only speaking to me about these chapters that I've been reading because I literally have been having videos um, from um, videos that I'm subscribed to or people that I'm subscribed to. They are putting videos about the same exact chapters. So the Lord is speaking to them about the same exact things and the same exact chapters. So I'm going, okay. The Lord, you say, if we're abiding in you, we're all hearing a lot of the same things. So it is true. Other people are speaking the same exact thing about the same exact chapters. So let's go ahead and read this. I'm just going to read chapter 16 in the book of John. I am in the NIV as always. And if you don't have an NIV Bible, you can use whatever Bible that you have. The wording will just be slightly different. Or you can just put on the app and put it on NIV version. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to read up. This is like still chapter 15, but it's 26 and 27, but it's under the works of the Holy Spirit. So when the advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me, and you also must testify for you have been with me from the beginning. All this I have told you so that you will not fall away. They will put you out of the synagogues. In fact, the time is coming when anyone who kills you will think they were offering a service to God. They would do such things because they have not known the Father or me. Let me pause because this totally goes with something the Lord was showing me. I believe it was yesterday when I was in my prayer closet. He was talking to me about this. He said that persecution of the church is going to be coming to a point to where people are going to hate us and we're going to be called rebels and non-tolerant because we stand on the word of God and we love people, but we hate sin. And because we hate sin, we will be going against and not supporting what the world has opened the door to and said of the types of sin that is okay and endorsed, that is not okay with God. And because we serve God and read his word and know that that is okay, that is not okay, we don't endorse it. And because we're not okay and we're not endorsing it, we're going to look like intolerant we're gonna look like we are um, we're not peacekeepers we're just gonna look like we're rebels like we're gonna look like because there's gonna be people out there say well God wouldn't God loves everybody he loves you no matter if you're you know gay or transgender or whatever else kind of sins that are starting to come out was it pedophilia and all different kinds of things that are starting to be really embraced? Um, you're going to look intolerant for not supporting these. And even though we love people, but we don't love sin, um, it is looked at to be okay and not a sin in the eyes of the world. So the Lord was telling me that we're, we're, 
we're called names now, but we haven't seen anything yet. Now, I also know that those who are going in the rapture will not see very much. We won't be to the point where we will be killed and they will think that they're doing a service to God. But there is coming a time when this exact thing is going to happen and we're not far away from it. Okay, so let me keep reading. They will do such things because they've not known the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their time comes, you will remember that I warned you about them. I did not tell you this from the beginning because I was with you. But now I'm going to him who has sent me. None of these, none of you ask me, where are you going? Rather, you are filled with the grief because I have said these things. But very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will prove, he will prove the world to be in the wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin because people do not believe in me. About righteousness because I'm going to the Father where you can, no where you can see me no longer. And about judgment because the prince of this world now stands condemned. I have much more to say to you, more than you now can bear. But when, but when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. See how he will tell you what is yet to come. He's going to tell you things to prepare you for future things that's going to come. He will, glor he will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. And all that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. Um, now verse 16. He went on to say, In a little while you will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me. At this some of the disciples said to one another, What does he mean by saying, In a little while you will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me, because I am going to the Father? They kept asking, Well, what does he mean by a little while? We don't understand what he is saying. Jesus saw that they wanted to ask him this, but he, so he said to them, Why are you asking one another what I meant when I said in a little while, You will see me no more, and then after a little while you will see me. Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will be turned to joy. A woman given birth to a child has pain because her time has come. But when her baby is born, she forgets the anguish because her joy that her child is born into this world. So with you, now is your time of grief, but I will see you again, and you will rejoice, and no one will take away your joy. In that day, you will no longer ask me anything. Very truly, I tell you, my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. Even though I have been speaking figuratively, a time is coming where I will no longer use this kind of language, but will tell you plainly about my Father. In that day, you will ask in my name, and I am not saying that I will ask the Father on your behalf. No, the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I have come from God. I came from the Father and have entered the world, and now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Then Jesus' disciples said, Now you are speaking clearly and without figures of speech. Now can we see? Now we can see that you know all things and that you do not even need to ask anyone, have anyone to ask you questions. This makes us believe that you came from God. Do you now believe? Jesus replied, A time is coming, and in fact has come, when you will be scattered, each of you to your own home. You will leave me alone, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. I have told you these things, but now in me that you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So he does let us know plainly we will have trouble because we live in this world. And we know that there's a lot of trouble coming to this world, especially for believers. So I just pray right now that if you're in a situation where... Uh, 
you have to be surrounded around people who mock and humiliate you or put you down. I just pray that the Lord will provide you a way out of that and he'll give you strength and the joy of the Lord to be able to endure and to get through it. Um, if you're struggling and you need prayer, please feel free to email me. I put my email in the description box. You can also comment below if you need uh, prayer, but if you specifically need me to pray for something specific and you don't want to put it down in the description box, you can feel free to message me. Also, I don't remember to always uh, tell in each one of my videos, but I do have a Facebook page called Waiting on uh, Jesus. And there I have a bunch of videos that I post. Some days I post more than others. It just depends on where the Lord leads me. And uh, if you put something on my heart, I post it. I normally watch anywhere to three to five videos a day, depending on the length of the videos. And if the Lord speaks to me, I share those videos over there. Um, and so if you want to know what the Lord is up to, you can always go and check that page, Waiting on Jesus, over on Facebook. And you can see kind of what the Lord has been showing me. And um, there's some Bible studies over there that kind of go with the, what the Lord has been showing me. And I post them over there as well so that you can see. So if you're definitely interested in knowing more, you know, about things going on in the end time or knowing what's going on in the world, uh, please go over there and check that page. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get ready and go. I need to go get up my babies. And I... And waiting on Amazon. Stuff I was waiting on yesterday never showed. I've been waiting on UPS to pick my box up. Uh, and they have not came. They were supposed to come yesterday. I ordered some like Pyrex dishes and we opened the box and they were shattered. So waiting to send them back. So I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out what the rest of my day is going to be like. I definitely need to get some more into John. Now I can move forward. We're past 16. I'll be back tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. My husband will be in the house. So Monday, if the Lord gives me something else to share with you guys, I will be back on sharing with you on Monday. But if I don't get that opportunity, if Jesus comes back to rescue us out of here, then I will see you in the clouds. But until next time, be safe and keep your eyes on Jesus.